Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Swapna here. Hope you all are doing really well. Today I'm going to share with you that secret trick to create this beautiful texture in your glass paintings. But before that I'll be showing you how to paint this beautiful pomegranate painting. I'll be painting on an OHP sheet using glass painting technique. Here I've already drawn the design and now I'm going to transfer that into the sheet. I'm just securing the position of the OHP sheet using this masking tape. For the outlining part I'm using Pebio Golden Outliner. I'm now transferring the whole design to the OHP sheet using this glass liner. Apply even pressure on your glass liner so that you get a consistent thickness in your lines. Since we are using an OHP sheet here, it is really easy to move around the sheet according to the direction of the glass liner. Keep a paper towel handy so that you can clear the nozzle of the liner as and when required. Now I have drawn the complete design on the OHP sheet and I see I have missed out one portion. So I am just completing the design. After giving the outline, let it dry thoroughly for a couple of hours. Now the liner is thoroughly dried, I am starting to paint. To begin with, I am using Camel Solvent Based Red Shade. This ruby red shade is one of my favorites from the whole range of Camel Solvent Based Paints. So this will be the base layer of the pomegranate. Now this red portion is finished, I am moving on to the leaves portion, for that I am using two shades of Pebio paints. I am starting with giving apple green and later I will be using emerald. All the details about the paints and the other materials that I will be using in this painting will be added in the description box below. For this painting, instead of using a toothpick, I am using a zero size liner brush. Brushes are easier to paint but it's a bit difficult to clean it after the painting. I usually use an orderless white spirit from a brand named Talents to clean my brushes.
Now I am going to add emerald green in certain portions of the leaves to add the darker shade. Once the painting of leaves inside the glass liner is finished, I am going to add few more details with that same green that will add a beautiful texture or an effect of those dark bunch of leaves in the background. I am just dabbing my brush in uneven strokes. Now I am painting the branches with a lighter shade of brown which is really the sand color in Pebio Vitriol range. Now I am using Pebio Vitriol white shade. Next shade is my favorite from Pebio Vitrail range which is purple. Now that the base layer of the fruit is completely dried and I am going to add this darker shade of purple as the second layer of adding details to this fruit. We cannot paint this when the base layer is not dried because both are two different solvents. And with the same dark shade, I am just slightly blending it with the white shade. Here is a close up of how I do this shading. Now I am adding droplets of that same dark shade of purple as seeds of those pomegranate. Now the painting part is done and I need to dry it thoroughly. And then comes the fun part of adding this beautiful texture to the painting. For that I am using Hobby Ideas fabric glue 
and I am adding few droplets of this glue on certain portions. This will be white in shade once it's applied but it will dry clear once it's dried. I am thinking of adding this glue on portions of those pomegranate seeds. This glue will take some time to dry thoroughly so we need to leave the painting overnight. Once it's dried thoroughly this is how it looks. The glue will dry clear and it will help to highlight certain portions of the painting. Now I am giving just a final touch of details using this golden liner. And now our painting is totally finished and this is how this beautiful pomegranate painting looks. Hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and click that bell icon for more new arts and crafts videos. Thank you so much for watching.